Blackstone Audio presents Those Endearing Young Charms by Marion Chesney. This book is read by Lucy Rayner. For Max Brandt, with love. Chapter 1 Rain thudded down on the roof and chuckled in the lead gutters. Rain grew into small lakes in the middle of the lawn and turned the drive leading up to the front door of the elms into a quagmire. Rain streamed down the misted windows of the drawing room and tumbled down the chimney in fat, sooty drops to spit on the fire. Will it never end? sighed Mary Anstey, putting down her sewing. It's been raining for weeks and weeks. Only a week, Mary, said her sister Emily. You are worried that he will be kept away by the state of the roads. No, it is not that, said Mary slowly. I think it is the weather that is making me feel so apprehensive. It has been ten years since I saw Captain Tracy. Ten years is a very long time. Now he is an earl. Just think, my peregrine, the Earl of Devenham. Sometimes I'm frightened of meeting a stranger. He will be the same, said Emily stoutly. You have waited for him all these years, as he has waited for you. Mary gave a little sigh and picked up her sewing. She and Emily, despite the difference in their ages, Mary was twenty-nine and Emily nineteen, were remarkably alike. Although Emily was a lively blonde beauty, and Mary, sedate and brown-haired, they could almost have passed for twins. The years did not seem to have touched Mary, thought Emily affectionately. Her face was still young and delicate and sweet. Ten years ago, Captain Peregrine Tracy had proposed to Mary Anstey, but her parents had refused to let her accept the hand of a penniless captain. Mr. and Mrs. Anstey were kind, cheerful, and extremely vulgar. They had sprung from modest beginnings. Mr. Anstey had made his money in the city as a merchant, and had retired to the country at an early age to enjoy his fortune and to remove himself from the smell of the shop. He aspired to become a country gentleman, but failed to adapt to the country or to become a gentleman, since he was a pushy, vulgar man. His wife supported him with equal vulgarity and insensitivity. For Sample complete. Ready to continue?